India Tunnel Rescue. All 41 workers freed. This is News Review from BBC Learning English, where we help you understand the news headlines in English. I'm Beth. And I'm Phil. Make sure you watch to the end to learn the vocabulary that you need to talk about this story. And to learn more about the world in English, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now, the story. Free at last. All 41 workers trapped in a tunnel in northern India for 17 days have been rescued. They were removed one by one through a 90 centimeter diameter pipe. None of the men are thought to be injured, but they are all being given medical checks. You've been looking at the headlines, Phil. What's the vocabulary that people need to understand this new story in English? We have ordeal, nail biting, and makeshift. This is News Review from BBC Learning English. Let's have a look now at our first headline. This is from CNN. All 41 workers rescued from collapsed tunnel in India after 17 day ordeal. The headline tells us that all 41 of the workers who were trapped have been rescued. The word we're learning about is ordeal. Phil, what can you tell us about it? Okay, just think about the situation we have here. Can you imagine what it would be like to be trapped underground in a tunnel for 17 days without knowing if you were ever going to get out? Well, I think it's very hard to imagine how scary and awful that must have been. And that is the type of situation that we describe as an ordeal. It's not a word used for everyday bad situations like missing the bus, for example. No, we use ordeal for difficult, unpleasant situations. And it's often situations that last a long time or feel like they last a long time. And just a note about the pronunciation. Note that the stress is on the second syllable. It's ordeal, ordeal. That's right, ordeal. Okay, let's look at that one more time. Let's have our next headline. This is from India Today. Utakashi Tunnel Rescue's last moments captured in nail-biting videos. So this headline tells us that the last moments of the rescue were captured on video and that it was nail biting. Nail biting is the vocabulary that we're looking at. Phil, are you a nervous person? Not generally, but there are certain situations when I might be. So if I'm watching my football team going through a penalty shootout at the end of a really important match, that's nail biting. In fact, by the end of it, I'm not sure if I'll have any nails left. <laughs> That's because you bite your nails to cope with the stress. And that is where the adjective nail biting comes from. So if something is nail biting, then the situation is very worrying because it's not clear how it will end or what the result will be. That's right. And in this story, it wasn't certain until the end if the workers would be rescued safely. Now, are there any other similar expressions, Beth? Yeah, we can also describe this type of situation as nerve-wracking. OK, let's look at that again. Next headline, please. This is from NDTV. Rescued workers in makeshift hospital inside tunnel. So we hear that the rescued workers are in some kind of hospital in the tunnel. But what kind of hospital? It must be very difficult to make a good quality hospital in such a short amount of time. And that is the key to understanding our next word. The adjective used to describe the hospital is makeshift. And we use that to talk about something that's been built very quickly to meet a sudden need. That's right. And also that it's temporary or at least intended to only be used for a short amount of time. And it's probably not very good quality either. 
We hear about makeshift accommodation, perhaps after people have been evacuated from a natural disaster like a flood. Or you might read about a school having makeshift classrooms if their buildings have been damaged by a war or because the government hasn't spent enough money on school buildings. OK, let's look at that again. We've had ordeal, a very unpleasant experience. Nail biting, it makes you really nervous. And makeshift, temporary and low quality. Click here to watch the last episode of News Review. And don't forget to click here to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.